What's happening, people, is James Beardwell, the Whitton Town supporter here, and welcome back to another Whitton Town FC match day vlog. It's the FA Cup second qualifying round replay day. Whitton Town are at home to Haringey Borough in the FA Cup second qualifying round replay. Before I talk about tonight's game, I just want to talk about my previous video from yesterday, what I said about hosting as part of the Witten Town fan interviews that I do. I nearly forgot to add that I've mentioned yesterday that while I was interviewing Callum last Saturday away to Haringey Borough, he is a massive Witten Town supporter like I do, and he goes to every single game like I do. Callum Ridley, who is a fellow Witten Town supporter, he is a huge Witten Town supporter, and that's why I gave Callum the opportunity to, to come on and have his say on the match days with Witten Town home and away. And, and I've got a few of my friends of the main fellow Witten Town supporters, they're huge Witten Town supporters as well, and I give them the opportunity to have the chance to come on and have their say on the match days previously. And I'm really looking forward to it, to the future Witten Town fan interviews in the future coming soon, especially coming up tonight, which I'm really looking forward to it. On to tonight's important match for Witten Town against Haringey Borough in the FA Cup second qualifying round replay. I am really excited. I'm, I'm super excited. Feeling the buzz already in the FA Cup second qualifying round replay tonight but tonight's game is like a cup final because for the winning team would we'll play Lowestoft Town in the FA Cup third qualifying round which I'm confident will be us tonight but tonight's match against Haringey Borough it's like a proper cup final so um and then on the back of the 1-1 draw last Saturday like we was 1-0 up in the 90th minute. And I thought we was going to hold on throughout the 90 minutes of the final whistle. But then I think, I believe, it was around about the 11th minute of injury time. And then we conceded a last-minute equaliser. And then I thought I knew it was going to happen because, like, we were trying to hold on to the win. But, like, we was hoping to win. But... But we can see the late equaliser. But anyway, we're focused on tonight's game against Haringey Borough. I'm super confident we'll put things right against Haringey Borough at home. And now I reckon there's going to be a lot of Witten Town fans going to be there tonight, getting behind our team throughout the whole 90 minutes. And we'll be there supporting the team and hopefully get this one over the line by going through to the third qualifying round. But like I said, this is like a cup final. It'll be a really tough game. But I believe we got the home advantage tonight against Haringey Borough. But sometimes we cannot write teams off because they are a good side. And they've never gave up last Saturday when we played away at Haringey Borough. And they show a lot more fight in the second half. And they tried to push for a late equaliser. And they did. Now for us tonight, we need to put on a really good performance to put on the show for our Witten Town supporters and myself against Haringey Borough in the FA Cup second qualifying round replay. This is the most important game of the season for Witten Town because we want to go far as possible in the FA Cup this season because that will be really good for our club, Witten Town. And... Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to tonight and especially I'm looking forward to continue my Witten Town, inter Witten Town fan interviews on the match days because like I'm so proud for the work that I've done for our Witten Town Football Club as hosting as part of the Witten Town fan interviews that I do. We are moving in the right direction and um, we as Witten Town supporters, we are feeling the buzz and we're pumped up and ready for tonight's game because this is important for Witten Town. The players know it, the management staff know it, Gary knows it, that we will put things right tonight against Haringey Borough 
We are super positive for tonight's game against Harangay Baba. And now I'm about to be on my way to the Whitton Town Football Club to get ready for the Whitton Town home match against Harringay Borough in the FA Cup second qualifying round replay very shortly. Up the town! I'm currently now on my way to the Whitton Town Football Club to get ready for the Whitton Town home match against Harringay Borough in the FA Cup second qualifying round replay match. I'm super excited, feeling the buzz already. And so as my friends of the fellow Whitton Town supporters, of the main fellow Whitton Town supporters, we all feel in the buzz for tonight's big FA Cup second qualifying round replay match at home against Harringay Borough. I'm super positive and I'm excited, pumped up and ready for our Whitton Town home support against Harringay Borough. And I'm super confident we get the job done against Harringay Borough. And let's hope it'll be a fantastic evening up the town. I'm currently now arrived at the Whitton Town Football Club to get ready to watch the Whitton Town FA Cup second qualifying round replay match at home against Harringay Borough. Feeling pumped up and ready for the loud and proud Whitton Town support. And I'm just waiting for my mates and the main fellow Whitton Town supporters to arrive to do the pre-match thoughts, half-time thoughts and full-time thoughts as always. And let's hope it'll be a fantastic evening. Up the town! Kevin, how you doing James, you alright? Good, thank you. Looking forward to the game today? Yeah, I am. Um, all the boys, I know there's a real buzz around the camp. Um, I think we felt very disappointed um, with how long injury time was played against us. So I'm expecting us to be like wounded animals tonight. And I think we're going to get, as soon as that first whistle goes, I think we're going to get about them early doors. And I think we're going to real put on a good show for the fans today. I mean, every night we play under the lights at Whitton with your support and everyone else, James. I mean, we always come up trump. So we, that, uh, we expect the minimum today. And come 10 o'clock, I expect to be in the next round, mate. Thank you so much for your time, Kev, and enjoy the game. Cheers, James. Thanks. I'm now with the main fellow Whitton Town supporters, Connor and Callum. Hello, James. How are we doing? Good, thank you. This is a big game in the replay against Harringay Borough because we was winning 1-0 last Saturday in the second qualifying round. We was 1-0 up in the 90th minute and then right at the 11th minute of injury time, we can see the last kick of the game. But tonight, we need to get the job done. Yeah, but let's, let's be honest, we should be talking and preparing for a game against Mildenhall. We, know, I, I, we should have won the game on Saturday, but one silly free kick we gave away cost us the game. But apart from that, I thought we were the better side on Saturday. We, mm. we played the better football, we had more chances. I think they were slightly lucky to have got the equaliser. I don't know, I know there's a few players down, but I don't think he should have added five minutes on top of the six minutes that he already added mm. on. But, you know, we drew the game and we're here tonight. I'm really excited and I feel that we could comfortably uh, beat, the, beat these tonight. Yeah, I'm feeling really confident for tonight because the players know it, Gary knows it and the management staff knows it. We've got to be really up for it tonight. And so as our fans, we're up for it tonight. We've got our voices ready tonight, getting behind the team. And we need to get the job done, hopefully. Yeah, we... It's silly that we gave away that last free kick in the 101st minute. But, yeah, we just need to be raring to go from the first whistle all the way through to the final whistle. Mm. We need to get this, uh, Josh in in there. He needs to be on, like, on his best performance today to make sure that we power through and just hope that we get through to the next round of the FA Cup group, James. Yeah, I'm feeling really confident and Josh did superb as always when, uh, when we played having Gay Bar away. He skipped past two players and scored and made it 1-0 to us. And I thought, yes, get in there. We were holding on to like a win, but then all of a sudden we can see the very last kick of the game. But like, um, sometimes it happens in football, but now we've just got to focus on tonight. Yeah, and to be honest, I don't see them really troubling us. On, I don't think they, they didn't trouble us a lot on Saturday. Mm. One chance there from a mistake from one of our defenders and then Harry made a good save, but they didn't, they didn't really put us under any pressure. So 
tonight I think we play it with it on Saturday if we can take a few more chances we can comfortably win the game. We know we got we're gonna get behind the lads, you know. Mm. But I just think yeah we've got to, if we can turn up we'll easily win the game and then you know last off at home in the next round if we can win. I said it's gotta be another tough game. It's, Big test. That will be they're a league above so if we can come through tonight then you know we're in the third qualifying round and a, another good good game. And now we're coming to the score predictions. What's your score prediction, Callum? Uh, uh, I'm going to go big and I'm going to go 4-1 win. Wow, brilliant. And what's your score prediction, Connor? Uh, I'm going to go quite big again as well. I'm going to say 3-0 Witten. Wow, brilliant. Love that. I'm going to be really optimistic, as always, and I think the players can be up for it tonight. And the management staff and the manager, Gary, will get the players going and our supporters going tonight. I'm going to be feeling really positive and I'm going 3 0 Witten Town. Nice, James. Thank you guys so much for your time. Cheers, and James. can Cheers, we get James. the job done and come on the town? Come on, come on the, the town. town! Come on! Come on, Witten! 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 Kimball's on the cut run. Yes. Kimball's on the yes. cut run. La 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 la. La 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 la. Kimball's on the cut run. Kimball's on the cut run. La la la. La 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 la. Kimball's on the cut run. Kimball's on the cut run. La 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 la. La 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 la. Come on, we turn. Come on, we turn. I'm super excited. Come on, town. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Witten. Come on, Witten. We are the town. We are the town. We are, we are, we are the town. We are the town, we are the town, we are, we are, we are the town, we are the town, we are the town, we are, we are, we are the town, we are the town, we are the town, we are, we are, we are the town. Filming. No, it's all right. Josh will tear you apart again. Josh, Josh will tear you apart again. Yes! Come on, Town! Come on! Go on! Gary Kimball. One. Clear. Well cleared. Come on, town. Come on, town. What I have
Town, this is it, come on! Oh, go on, finish it! Oh! Your big wheels on fire! Who? No, 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 Well, clear, Ryan. Oh, Gola! Hey! Side him up, side him up, side him up. Oh, what? Defend it, town. Defend it. Good save, Harry Fares. What a save of Harry Fares. The half time score Whitton Town nil, Harringay Borough nil. And here we've got the main fellow Whitton Town supporters, Callum and Paul. Hello, mate. Guys, the first half was a little bit equally matched and we was close to being 1-0 up and then um, we played some good football and I have to say fair play to their supporters making the long trip to us. But for us, I, I reckon we played some really good football but in your opinion, what needs to improve second half? I don't think it's been the most exciting game really. I think it's been pretty... Not much has happened. I think it's not as good as Saturday, that's for sure. But... Yeah, who knows? Any, who knows what's going to happen in the second half? Yeah, we did play some like really good football. We we dominated in the penalty area, and we just couldn't find the final third. Like uh, we played some really good attacking football, but just couldn't find the final third. And if we finally fixed the final third, we would have been like one or two at half time. Yeah, it's been pretty even, hasn't it, like you said. Uh, it's been a pretty close game. I think both sides have pretty much cancelled each other out. The approach play has been pretty good, but the final ball, the final pass has been a bit lacking. I think uh, out of the two teams, I think we've probably shaded it in terms of we've had the better play, the better possession, created the better chances, but then we could have been 1-0 down at the end. And really good save by Harry Fairs. But... Yeah, what, so a save from Harry a Fares. Yeah. what a save from Harry Fares. He kept us in the game, like into nil nil. Like, he kept us in the game, like nil nil. And we would have been one down, but if Ho, if Ho was in goal like he did to, like, tonight, he made a brilliant save. And um, that kept us in the game. And Harry did outstanding goal as always, didn't he? Yeah, I feel like I think the was a fair score. And I don't think neither team had done done anything to, to warrant a goal obviously they had that one chance but apart from that you know it's not been not been the most exciting game I think obviously Saturday was uh, was a lot better from us but we've got another 45 minutes hopefully we can create a few chances and then hopefully get a couple of goals but you know it's got the feeling of going all the way this one to penalties so yeah <laughs> Unless something needs to change in the second half, like to play a bit more dominant football from us, like we've got to play more dominant into the penalty area, again, we've got to take our chances on goal. And like um, sometimes at this level, like we said time and time again, if we don't take the chances, you get punished at this fair, level. Although to be fair, we haven't really had a lot of chances, so I don't really think we could say that, that that's the case. But no, you have, yeah, we haven't really created a lot, so I don't think it's a case of not taking our chances. Mm. But we just yeah, we can create a few chances. I think we can get get a goal in the second half. Yeah, it's been an equal equal game, and if both sides have played each other out, but I wouldn't be surprised if one goal did settle it. Or certainly, I don't think as many goals in this game. They're two good teams evenly matched. So I think the next. Goal because I don't think it's going to be much in this game. The first goal, that is. We haven't had a goal yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, goalless at half time, and like, um, but 
like you said, it wasn't the exciting first half. Like no. we could have been like sort of one up and like in either way, but it wasn't the most exciting first half at the moment. No, I think Paul's right. I think obviously the first goal is crucial, but mm. yeah, he sort of has the making of a scrappy goal or a dodgy decision would win win this type of game. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if Kane didn't finish one 0 because mm. there's not much in it. I think whoever takes their chances is probably going to come out on top. But yeah, we'll see. I think well, we've been the better side. Bear in mind they came down from the league above last season. That's a credit to us because I think we've been the better team over both leagues. But, yeah, all to pay for for a big second half. Thank you guys so much for your time. And we go against second half. And can we finally get a goal for Whitton Town on Common the Town? Come on, Common the Town! <laughs> You. I can feel it is coming. Come on. Go for it. Go on. A throw. Come on, Tail. There's a throw in. Hey. It's him. Um, On there. That's all. Come on. Ah. Hey, yellow, yellow cards for having gay bar player. Corners are having gay bar. One nil to Haring Gay Bower. My prediction's out the window. One nil to Haring Gay Bower. When I'm Ryan. When I'm Ryan. Go on! Oh! Come on, town! There's still time! Oh, that's a sending off. Told ya, sending off. Send a red card for a Wim Town player. Red card. Is that Liam Whips? Red card for a Wim Town player, Liam Whips. Is that a penalty or free kick? Free kick right on the edge. Hey! Come on! Yes!
The full time score, Wisdom Town 1, having gave bar 1, and it's going to extra time. Come on! We're still in here! Come on! Extra time! Extra time! Come on! Come on! Yes! There's only one! The half time score in extra time, Whitton Town 1. Having gay Bala 1. And now we've got the second half of extra time. Come on, town! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Whitton Town! Whitton Town! Whitton Town! Whitton Town! Come on! He don't want it! Oh. Oh my God, what are you doing, Harry? Had to be realistic. <laughs> Throw into Harry and Gabe Bauer. Go on! Run! Harry the full time in, extra time, Whitton Town 1, Haringey Borough 1, and it's going to go to penalty shootout. <laughs> the, the team of Whitton Town and the players prepared to see who's going to take the penalty kick for Whitton Town, and, and they'll probably do a list who's going to take the penalty kick for the Whitton Town players. Come on, Whitton Town, we can do it. We can win the penalty shootout that we did against Stansted two seasons ago. Oh, I'm absolutely nervous now. I am nervous. Come on, Whitson. Come on, Harry. Thank <laughs> you. 
Let him do it, quiet, we can do it. to score. He has to score this. We have to score. So what's the score again? Four three. It. All the best, all the best in the next round. Okay. So I get my, so I get my, my charger. Thanks. Well Sold them because uh, it was very heartbreaking because it was the most painful. But I just 
I just consoled a couple of Whitton Town players because I know how heartbreaking it is. I've been through it when we lost on penalties. And it's a bit like the England Spain final over again, isn't it? Yeah. Um, let, just, let me, yeah, I'm, I, I stick with my point. I do think that we were, should have won the game Saturday. Having over were lucky, got a last minute equaliser. Probably shouldn't have been five five minutes extra on top of the six that happened on Saturday. Uh, but I thought, yeah, it was. I thought in the, the actual game itself, for the first 80 minutes, we didn't really turn up. We didn't create a lot of chances. But in the extra extra time, I thought we obviously went down to ten men. But we were the better team in that that second half. Obviously, it hurts that we've lost on penalties. But I think over both games, we were, we were much the better side, and we. We should have won that game on Saturday, I think. We were much the better team, and obviously they got a last minute goal, which, you know, it's not really much you could do about. We just hit it and it, and it went in. But yeah, it's disappointing, obviously, today. But yeah, we shouldn't have been here. We should should have been playing Mill and all. We should have won Saturday. But yeah, we're out, and we have to move on now. We've Our Wembley some... dream's are over, but we've yeah. got until we've next got, season. <laughs> we've got some big games coming up. We've got, you know, Cambridge away uh, next Saturday. Then we've got Wolfsdale at home, Brighton's in the cup, so some big games coming up. Obviously we're disappointed, but there's a lot a lot of good signs at this football club. So yeah, we've got to the second round, we qualify, we've got six grand in the bank. You know, let's look at the positives and yeah, you know, it's looking a very exciting season for us, us Whitton fans. I am to be honest with you guys, I am devastated because like um to lose a penalty shootout was a massive heartbreak. It's, it's like the England Spain over again, but but this is even more painful to lose a penalty shootout. But um, but it's like um, I feel really sorry for the players. But um, just went over to console a couple of Whitton Town players. They were they were in tears because I because I often often I, I offer to console them because they're in tears. So I often the shoulder. The, my shoulder cry on because it's, I know how it feels to lose a penalty shootout. Yeah, I feel sorry for Josh there because he played really well tonight. He ran himself into the ground. He uh, put in a good performance, and then it's just a cruel way to lose a penalty. Uh, cruel, cruel way to lose any football match on penalties. And I think we were, extra time we were the better side. So it's yeah, like, really like, unfortunate. Yeah. All the hard work we yeah. did, like away at, at yeah. Harrogate on Saturday, Saturday and, yeah. and like we won the other up. And then, and then we can see the last minute goal, but like, um, we were so close to be back in it. And then we lost on penalties, which is very unlucky. But now, we, now, we're, now we're out of the competition, we've got to move on to the next game. Yeah, but on, obviously on to the point about Josh, I thought Saturday he played exceptionally well as well. I think, as, as we said tonight, he played well and it just, the penalty was just one of those things, you know. It happens, but hope, yeah, he needs to, if he can keep his head up, you know, he's a fantastic player. And I think over both games, he's probably been the best player out of all the, uh, out of both teams. He's phenomenal Saturday and did very good tonight. So yeah, things are looking up for him and the team. But we're out. But we just yeah have to move on now. What do you think, Connor? Yeah, we played so well. Even though we were down to ten men, we just the players gave it their all. They, like you said, Josh just ran himself into the ground, and it's just so cruel cool that we had to go out in, on penalties. And we just played so well, but still went up. It just, yeah. Yeah, and I think penalties at the end of the game was probably a fair reflection. I think Saturday we were much the better team, and probably over the 90 minutes in um, today, I thought probably Harringay were the better team. So it's a cruel way to lose it, but you know, let's move on now. We've got, as we said, exciting games coming up, and there's a lot. A lot of good things to look forward to. So yeah, we put this behind us, and then yeah, big games coming up, and hopefully yeah, we're looking good in the league, so we could have a good season there. But you know, we've got to think we've got six grand for a football club like us. That is a massive amount of money. So yeah, it's another good run. So yeah, you know, we. But yeah, we've just got to put it behind us, and yeah, focus on the next league games and the next cup games coming up. Thank you guys so much for your time, and we go again next. Next Saturday against Cambridge, yeah. Against looking, Cambridge, looking forward City. to that one already. Cheers, James, yeah. and up the town, up the town, up the head up. Well done, guys. So here you go. I just got back from the Whitton Town home match against Harringay Borough and um, drew one-one in extra time and lost four-three on penalties to Harringay Borough and. Um, I was devastated, and um, and so as a 
so is a lot of the Whitton Town players that look absolutely devastated, and especially Joshua Sude, and I think it was Anton Matthews as well. They both looked absolutely tearfully devastated. So I offered them both my shoulder to cry on because, like, um, because I consoled both of them because, like, I know how it feels to lose on penalty shootout, and um, I've been through it as well when. When England lost 2-1 to Spain, but it wasn't on penalties in the Euro final, which is different. But what I was saying is I was in tears when England lost to Spain in the final because I know how it felt. And um, But to, to lose on the, in the penalty shootout against Haringey Bow in the FA Cup, it's, it's more of a heartbreaker. So... Um, I saw Josh looked absolutely in tears when he came over to our fans and I offered him a shoulder to cry on because um, I know how it feels and I totally understand how it feels because I've been there before because football's passion inside. The football is the passion in my heart and in our hearts, the passion's inside my heart where it shows all the passion and um, it's, it's in the heart. And um, I'm just feeling absolutely devastated at the moment. But um, I feel sorry for the players. And um, But it is a heartbreaker to lose in a penalty shootout. And um, I have to feel sorry for the Whitton Town players. But I'm not going to talk too much about Saturday's game because like, cause that is done. And now today's game's done. And now we've got the league to look forward to. And also we've got the Velocity Cup to look forward to as well. And um, But to lose on penalty shootout in the FA Cup, it's very, very devastating. And it's a massive heartbreaker. So yeah, I just want to thank you all for your amazing support that you gave me. Because I, I was so close to tears when... We lost on penalties because the passion's inside my heart. Inside my heart, it shows a lot of passion inside me because passion for my club, Whitton Town and country, England. But um, but I'm devastated at the moment. But um, but yeah, we're all devastated as Whitton Town supporters. But. I've got to say, fair play to the Haring Gay Bower supporters for making the trip to us and uh, they deserve the win in, on penalties and I wish them all the very best in the next round and, um, and look forward to seeing them in the league season coming soon this year. And um, I'm devastated at the moment. but um, So yeah, we now got to keep our heads held high. We are now out of the FA Cup. And we're also out of the FA Trophy. Our Wembley dream is over until next season. So um, there's always next season. So, um, But now we've got to concentrate on the league now. And now we've got to dust ourselves and keep our heads held high. Hope you enjoy today's Whitton Town FC match day vlog. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment down below on my YouTube channel, James Beardwell. Whitton Town's next match is away to Cambridge City on Saturday the 28th of September. Keep the faith, Whitton Town.